to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is how you make a rainbow rain cloud. You need shaving cream, food coloring, and water. First, you fill a clear vase with water. It helps if it's a vase and it's narrow, not a big bowl. Then you need to add shaving cream on top. When it makes that noise, shake it. It looks kind of mm, like a cloud, kind of. Make a big pile of shaving cream. The shaving cream will float on top. I think it's ready. Then you add some water to some small cups. Just a little bit, don't fill it up. Next, get your color ready. Just a little bit of water with food coloring in it. Then, pour your colored water into your cloud. Just pour a little bit. I'm doing purple. Try to put a color on each side. So then, there's more explosion. I added blue. Now I want to add some red. It's swirling. It takes a little while to soak through the shaving cream. Then the colors go into the water. It's going down really slow, like in slow motion. It's very pretty. And it looks like colorful rain coming out of a cloud. It's so cool. Whoa. And that's how to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is how you make magic milk. Isn't it cool? I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you wanna pour some milk into a small dish. You don't need a lot of milk. The best thing to use is whole milk because it has the most fat in it. Then, you add a few drops of food coloring. Use all the colors that you want to see swirl. This is red. This is blue. This is yellow. And this is green. You want to get the color all around so it looks cooler. Last, you add a tiny drop of liquid soap. You really don't want to add too much. Just dip it into the soap and let it drip into the milk. And this is where the magic happens. Abracadabra! The colors are swirling around like crazy. It's like liquid tie-dye. The science is that the soap is chasing the fat in the milk. And as it chases the fat, it swirls the colors. Important tip, do not stir the milk. If you mix it up, it stops working. Abracadabra, you've got magic milk. How to make raisins dance. We're going to show you how to make dancing raisins so you can play too. This is what you need to make dancing raisins. You need any type of clear fizzy drink, a glass, and you need raisins. First you're going to open the bottle and you're going to put it halfway into the glass. Any liquid that's bubbly is called carbonated. Carbonated means that a certain type of gas was pushed into the liquid. As the gas comes out, it makes bubbles that float up to the top. After that, you take your two smallest raisins that you can find, and you can drop them into your fizzy drink. The bubbles attach themselves to the raisins and float it up to the surface. When the bubbles pop, the raisins sink back down to the bottom. And they're going up and down. And they're floating at the surface and I'm waiting for them to pop. <laughs> I made background so my raisins can dance on the stage. Rockets. Or you can dance like a raisin. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down.
cool color experiment so you can play too. All you need to start with are five glasses and some water. First, pour some water into three of the glasses. You want them to be in a pattern. Water, empty, water, empty, water. This one, this one, and this one. The glasses need to be the same size and clear so you can see the rainbow. Then you're going to add your color. If you want to make a rainbow, make your first one red. Make the middle one yellow. And you make the last glass Blue. These are three parts of the rainbow. I added about three drops in it. And now you're going to mix it with a spoon. Then you're going to add your paper towels. Start with half a piece. Fold it or roll it. It should look like this. Then cut it in half. Then put the paper towel into the red water and bend the dry end into the empty glass. So then you add more paper towels to every cup. The colored water is going to crawl into the empty glass through the paper towel. The yellow is going to mix with the red. It's going to make orange. And the blue is going to mix with the yellow, and that's going to make green. It's going to take a long time, so you have to have a lot of patience. Mm. While we're waiting, do the wave. <laughs> Jumping jacks. One, two. two. Think big thoughts. Hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot! After you've played some fun games, check on your rainbow. Wow! The longer you wait, the more colored water will travel over. Can't believe they crawl over into the empty glass. The paper towel is kind of like a bridge because the water goes over the bridge into the empty cup to make really cool colors. That's how you make crawling colors. This is how you make nighttime sparkles. Whoa! We're making nighttime sparkles. And we're going to show you how to do it so you can play too. This is how you make nighttime sparkles. First you need a flashlight. Then you need baking soda or flour or anything powdery. We're going to show you how to do it with the lights on. And then we're going to show you how to do it with the lights off because it's even cooler. Turn your flashlight on and point it across the room so it makes a big beam of light. You can use anything powdery you want. We're going to use baking soda. Take the baking soda and put a little bit in your hands. Blow the baking soda right off your hand, just above the beam of light. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like little waves of sparkles. The baking soda will swirl into the air and gently fall down. Let me try that again. It looks so cool. When it falls into the beam of light, it will look sparkly. The light bounces off each piece of baking soda to make sparkles. OK, let's turn off the lights so we can show you. Whoa. My turn. Just a little bit. Looks like little waves of smoke floating through the air. Whoa. You can use water too. You need to hold it over the beam of light that the flashlight is making. And then you spray. It looks like little sparkles. Yeah, it's so cool. It looks like a rainstorm. Kind of looks like fireworks. And that's how you make nighttime sparkles. How to make growing watercolors. We made growing watercolors. It grew from this to this. Isn't it cool? We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. All you need is a bowl of water, some paper towels, and some markers. First you need paper towel and then cut it up into strips so that it eventually will look like this. Once you have your strips, you're going to draw your design. Use markers. Draw anything you want about an inch above the bottom of the paper towel. You have to leave space at the bottom for the paper towel to go into the water. I think I'm going to make a rainbow. I'm going to try to make an, a, a little illusion. Once your design is done, you're going to dip it in the water, but remember not to put your design in the water. The water will come up the paper towel to meet your colors. It's prettier than I actually thought it would be. 
I'm seeing the colors just crawling up the paper towel with the water. Look, mine are starting to like almost kind of like merge together and it's like becoming this beautiful like rainbow kind of. Yeah, me too. It might take a little long, but it will turn out well. It's so cool how the colors come together. The water really changes your picture. If you keep holding your paper towel in the water, the picture will keep growing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's so cool. Only a little bit longer until I can hang mine up and let it dry. I'm going to make sure that the water goes all the way to the top of my design. Now we're going to put them up and let them dry. You want to try to lay them flat on a flat surface. Like a pan. And remember, while it's drying, it's still going up the colors. And that's a growing watercolor.